Remember COVID? Yeah, that thing still exists somewhere. But why do people aren't afraid of it anymore? Because everyone is vaccinated, of course. But I weren't when I catched it. But I took it like a chump. And I'm here talking to you, but I was on the verge of death one time. Anyway, I catched it first and then my family followed. That thing was fast as spreading. So first I thought, well, let me just a call. The doctor came to my house and took some tests and then a week later they said I have COVID. So my temperature was around 38 to 39 degrees or 102.2 Fahrenheit. I was coughing and sweating. Well, you know, normal cold. But another symptom I had is dehydration. But let me tell you, I drank a lot of water because I thought I was dehydrated, but I really wasn't. I drank about 7 liters per day of water. And I drank so much water to the point that I got blue legs. So I needed to stop drinking and I stopped. Easy solution. The government decided to pardon the people to give basic free medication, but nobody knows when you get it, so maybe they will deliver them to your grave. So one day in my journey with COVID, I was laying in my bed and my mom decided to check my fever. You know those old thermometers that needs to wait 5 minutes to tell what fever you have? I had 40 degrees, which is in Fahrenheit 104. And that is dangerous. But I slept through it. Of course I was nervous because of that fever. But that's only the beginning of problems. I had breathing problems, so went to do the x-ray and guess what they found? Well, no, they found something called pneumonia. Pneumonia. Then I had to use injections in the muscle. What muscle? Well, definitely not in my biceps, in the butt. So we did that for a week. And then we came back and they said everything is fine. I'm okay and recovered from COVID. But problems that an end there. There is a little something that called post-COVID syndrome. Which was very severe in my case. I hope I didn't kill anyone because the ambulance was called once for nothing. So the post-COVID syndrome was something like that. You're always feeling anxious and feel like there's something wrong with you. Like, like with your health. And you feel like you have some kind of disease that will kill you. I had a full-blown panic attack like twice. Once I thought I had asthma. And you know what's the worst thing to do in the world? Is Googling your symptoms. I learned that you don't always need to listen to Google. You can Google certain diseases, but you don't always have to believe it. So anyway, back to asthma. I thought I I had it but I really didn't. I had a panic attack. I had difficulty breathing. I told everyone but no one believed me and that made it worse. Because if that was for real I'd die. I'm thinking I'm gonna die now but I survived another day. Oh and I just wanna say since I had COVID my life changed forever. Because one time I had a lump feeling in my throat and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And now this lump seems to come back sometimes. Listen I've never had this lump but now sometimes I do. It's all because of COVID, that shit sucks. I remember the time where I felt like I had a heart attack, but not really. It all started with that lump. Then everyone goes to sleep and I stay awake and feel like I'm dead. I woke up and up and my heart was racing, so I thought that's the end, that's it. I'm yelling mom to call an ambulance, but she didn't thankfully. But I felt even worse, because again, no one believed me. But as the time passed by, I feel better and better. It seems like I'm fine now. <coughs> oh wait, that's not the time to die yet, because I I forgot to tell you about the time the ambulance was called. It was just another anxious evening and my hands and feet were freezing and again I had difficulty breathing. And you know, we called it an ambulance, but it was for nothing because everything was fine.